Welcome to the science kid. Ugh, my hair. <laughs> eh, who cares? Anyways, I'm your host, Quinn Friedman. And today, we're going to talk about density. Now, let's say you had a small rock and a beach ball. You are out swimming! You place the rock in the water, and it sinks. Then, you place the beach ball, but it floats. Even though the beach ball is bigger than the rock, it floats. Why is that? It's because of... Density! Density is a consistency measured by the quantity of mass per unit volume. But, how does density work? The reason why the rock sank <laughs> is because it has more density than water. If something has more density than what it is floating on, it will sink. The beach ball, on the other hand, has less density than water, and so that is why it floats. Another example is that steel has more density than water, so it will sink. Foam has less density than water, so it will float. To find the density of an object, use this simple formula. The density is the mass divided by the volume. If the mass of an object is 18 grams and the volume is 3 centimeters cubed, the density would be 6 grams over centimeters cubed. Now you know what density is and how to find it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, comment what was your favorite part of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, science can always be fun.